Hello everyone, and we are back in Vermilion City. Last episode, we got our bike voucher after defeating our third gym leader at uh, one attempt. So now we have uh, defeated our third gym leader, and we have to go through this Diglett cave. <laughs> While saying that, I, I did buy several repels to make this hopefully a lot faster. And, um,. We have to travel through here back to uh, Viridian City to pick up uh, HM for Flash. And the reason we need Flash is to make it much faster and easier and just possible to travel through the cave that will lead us to Lavender Town. And we have 10 Pokemon in our PC. So, we should be able to get the HM. We just talked to this professor here, and he should give us the HM, and we're gonna probably teach it to Charmander. Pretty sure Charmander can learn it. And he'll basically just be an HM slave for us, because he already learned Cut for us, and if Golbat, well, by the time we have Fly, we will teach either to Golbat or some other Pokemon by then. Let's make sure that Charmander can learn Flash. Oh, he's not able to, but should be alright because we have uh, other Pokemon in our PC. So once we get back to Vermilion City, we will um, teach it to one of them. We just have to go all the way through the Diglett Cave again, which shouldn't take long. That's not what I want to do. There we go. Now back through our Diglett Cave. And use yet another repel. Don't have to run into the Diglets. This cave is very uh, annoying and slow if you do not have repels or high enough level Pokemon to get you through the cave like that. So here we are back here, we're gonna stop at the Pokemon Center to withdraw a Pokemon I caught in between the breaks of last episode and this episode for other reasons in the future, in the future of the playthrough, but we can also teach it Flash and take it with us. Uh, withdraw Abra. I'm pretty certain that we can learn Flash. There we go. So now we're gonna have two HM slaves with us through the travel of the Cerulean Cave. And we have to go all the way back up to Cerulean City to get to the entrance and fight various trainers on our way to the cave. Luckily we have plenty of repels so wild Pokemon should not be an issue when traveling to and out of the cave. Just right here on the right as soon as you leave Cerulean City, you might have noticed a tree that looks like it could have been cut down. Oops. Right here, where we can cut it once again. I'm gonna take on all of these trainers. This will probably be an episode in and of itself of just getting to the cave. Yeah, Golbat's probably more ideal to take on this trainer with various grass types. We'll just leech life and confuse rain and such.
One hit. There we go. Another Oddish. It's going to be a while before we take on our fourth gym leader in uh, Celadon City, who is Erica, the grass type gym leader. There's various things you have to do before you battle her, or at least you probably want to do before you battle her, just to ensure you're at a high enough level to. So I know we have to take on, definitely have to take on the first Team Rocket base, and uh, uh, after that you can, but you don't have to finish the uh, Pokemon Tower back in Lavender Town. And plus, we have to get through this cave and just various things. And uh, there's an item, and plus we have to take on that trainer. So no more room for items. So there's something we could drop or use. Why not just ether for? Why not for? Oh, I, th I thought we had only one ether, we have others. Use on... Is there anything we can use on? We'll just toss it, we don't need it. Might have been better to sell it, but... I don't even know if this is an item that's really worth it. What is TM30? Probably should deposit all these other TMs we have come across so far in HMs. Teleport, we, we already have teleport from Abra, so we don't really need that. Once we get to the Pokemon Center before entering the cave, we will deposit various items, because I know there's going to be more items to pick up inside the cave. Machop. Probably need to switch out to Golbat again. Both all of these Pokemon have just not been very ideal to. Or Needle King, that works too, but haven't been ideal for me else to gain XP off of. Level 27. Uh, level 27 again for Neo King, very nice. I think level 30 will be easily achieved by the time we get to our um, fourth gym. And definitely double kick, or I guess thrash works too until it wears off. Double kick, just like the reason we originally got Nido King or Nido Ran at the time. And if he can land a, a attack from being confused. <sighs> Come on. No. No. Come on. Come on. You can do better than this. I should sure give a super potion to Nido King, otherwise this is gonna be an extremely tedious and long battle. Just get away with it. yes, okay. There we go. Success. Need to land one more hit. There. I was a little skeptical for a minute. Throw a trainer down here. 
Yeah, but I think we... No, wait. Oh, we just have to face him. I wasn't sure if there was a hidden item. Might have more rock types. Yeah, probably has the geodude or gravel or such. Not ideal for me else. Back to Nito King, as long as we don't have a oh survive. Yes. Very nice. And Onyx should be no problem. Even at nineteen HP left. Knock him out then. Imagine heal Nido King to the hop, listening to the beeping of the low HP. Need to heal him again. Super potion. Here. We, we didn't battle him yet. Is this a bird catcher or bird man thing? Cat trainer? No, it's a youngster. Probably just Radita eradicate. Sand room. Mouth might probably can take this one on. trainer. Pretty sure it's a bug catcher. It definitely has a bee drill. It's a pretty low level bee drill for this area in the game. Two beedrills. Both uh, 19. Yeah. Simple enough. Level 28. One more level until Meowth is able to evolve, which is hard to believe. It feels like we haven't had him for that long since. Oh, I guess he evolves now, but. Obviously, we don't want him to evolve yet because he would, uh, he wouldn't learn a level or a move. We we're, were wanting him to learn a move, Fury Swipes, which he learns at 33 as Meowth, but as Persian, if you let him evolve as Persian, he doesn't learn it until 36 or 37, I'm pretty sure. So, if we have him for five more levels, we will have the benefit of learning a move early, so it shouldn't be that difficult. He may have fends for himself well already. Maybe you should have given him a rare candy, or that rare candy that we have. I would maybe do that once he turns level 29. Just do a scratch or we have payday. We'll get more money out of it at the end. So just to knock Weedle out.
I know that. Another trainer to take on. It's another youngster bird trainer thing. No, it's a junior trainer. Diglett, uh, maybe switch to Nino King. All right, so with Nino King, I'll just thrash. Why not? Just simple enough. I don't know how many more trainers there are to battle in this area. It's, I would guess around maybe two or three. Twenty-eight for Nido King. Have to go this way, so we have one, two, two trainers. Probably have to go back to Nido King for this battle, too. There's all these hikers and their geodudes and onyxes and such. Uh, double kick, as long as it doesn't self destruct again. Don't self destruct. That was kind of a waste of double kick, but oh well. Level 29, so now we can uh, use our rare candy to have our Meowth to level 30. Thrash from a chop. Golbat might be needing some attention soon. We'll have him at the lead of our party in uh, the cave, I think. He's at level like 26 or 27, I think. Oh, I didn't mean to use Thrash again. Although it could still get knocked the Geodude out. One more hit. There. No, we don't want me out to evolve. There. Not for a couple more levels, and oh yeah, we get, give the rare candy to me out. Put me off at level 30. No, we don't want him to evolve. There. Just three more levels and then you can evolve into him. We'll have our Persian. We'll switch to 
Golbat. Give me Arthur Neo King break. This might be the last trainer. Not only me off, ironically. Simple enough. Uh, Golbat needs to get a level. His levels up. So that should do it. So here, as you can see, we have our. Or we might have one trainer left. Well, we're going to be entering the gym. If this is a trainer, yeah. So after this gym battle, we'll call it an episode and. Enter our gym, our, our gym, our, our uh, cave, the Cerulean Cave. So I'm not sure how many episodes that Cerulean Cave will take. It's probably, it's, it's bigger than Mount Moon, and Mount Moon did take two episodes, so just have to wait and see. Thank you, Golbat. Uh, Clough Fairy. That is that. On the level up for Golbat. The, like I said, it should be it for this episode. Next episode, I'm going to entering the Cerulean Cave, and hopefully, it doesn't take too long. And after that, we'll be heading to Lavender Town. So I'll see you all there.